John, thank you. The Tri-State Fair is just a couple of weeks out, so it is time to pull out the aprons and start getting ready to enter those canned goods, baked goods, and candies at the fair. we got lots more to talk about as far as that goes. My good friend Joanne from the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service is here with all of the information. Now, yesterday we talked about the special categories, sort of the sponsored categories. These things that you're talking about today are the ones that are sort of on display at the fair, right? They are on display, and the open category or the open culinary is is for anyone that's ages 20 and above. So we've got people who are 20 that have just left the youth category all the way up to 80 year olds that are competing. And I'm here to tell you, some of these people are high competitors. I mean, this is just a bird's eye view of some of it. I mean, I'm telling you what, last year, if you'll recall, I judged the bread. It was life altering, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> we have the best cooks in the Texas Panhandle. There was so much amazing stuff out there for sure. So there are a whole bunch of different categories. You wanna talk about a few of them? So we've got 15 different divisions that people can enter their goods in. And so, for example, the breads, and mm -hmm. our own Megan is going to be judging those I've this been year. Practicing. Yeah, it's so fine. we're going to be doing that. We've got some new items that's in some of these categories. For instance, in the bread category, you'll be judging jalapeno cornbread this year. Oh, that's so. Good. There's a whole new category for that. We also have whole cakes that are not iced. That would be like some of those quick breads, okay. as well as cakes to be iced. That's the third division. And with that one, we've included gingerbread houses this year. Oh, how fun. So if somebody is really good on gingerbread houses, this would be the time to pull out some gumdrops and make some kind gingerbread. Of get in the mood for get the season. Get in the mood, get that up there and going. We also have decorated cakes, uh -huh. and there's a number of items that people can put in for decorated cakes. One of the things that you need to keep in mind with the decorated cakes is it's going to be hot out there all week Good at advice. the fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so one of the things that people can do is they can use a cake form if they want to decorate the cake form because with the decorated cakes, we will not be slicing into those. So that it's being judged on their Just artwork. Just the artwork. So okay. We had, we had one a couple of years ago that was an absolute beautiful cake and it was all different layers and it was rainbowed. Uh -huh. By the end of the week, it had the heat had gotten sure. to it. So Makes sense. that's something you need to think about as you're getting ready for that. Now, we also have a professional division mm -hmm. and professional division is for any of those people who get paid to make cakes and or cookies. We've added cookies to the professional yes, division this year. So they, can, so they can do cakes or they can do cookies and decorate those. And one of the things that I'm really excited about in that category is that we've got uh, sugar artwork. This is something brand new they're doing at some of the other fairs and we thought that would be so cool for our professionals to be able to enter their artwork. Yes. Now, on top of that, for our professionals, if they want to bring in a business card, uh -huh. we won't have it there while the products are being judged, but when the item has been, when judging is complete, we will put people's business cards with their um, entries, That's therefore they can uh, advertise and let people know who did what. But I'm really excited about this new category yes, with the I artwork. Like that. That, that is so cool. Then again, we've got cookies. That's another one. Uh -huh. And uh, this year, we've added snickerdoodles to okay. the cookie category. That sounds good. Well, I'm thinking I wished I was one of the I judges. Know. For I know. I tell you what. You've got a lot of canned goods, all sorts of categories there. People who want to do the to enter their goods, what do they need to do? How do they sign so up? So on. Wednesday, September the 11th, from noon until about 5 o'clock, we will be accepting entries in the canned good category. And then the next morning, Thursday, September the 12th, from 7.30 until noon, we will be accepting canned goods as well as baked goods. Okay. Now, we stop taking entries at 12 noon, so you need to be sure and pay attention and be out there at the fairgrounds and have your entries submitted by that particular point in time. And people go, but the book said, well, each one of the cat, uh, each one of the contests have a different judging time. Okay. So open culinary will end at 12 o'clock, and then we will begin judging shortly after one, and have those judged on Thursday. And then the fair opens on Friday, and you can come in and see how you placed on Friday. Oh, that's awesome! Now, is there a place everybody can go to get all the rules and regulations? There and is the fair catalog if you go to tri-state fair catalog mm -hmm. then it will pull it up and you can click on the link and it will open up the uh, all the rules pdf all the rules thank you my friend i'm well, looking forward to oh, it i'm excited it's, it's always gonna be a good delicious time. it's gonna be great joanne thank you my friend stick around everybody do your kids leave for school happy and excited and then they come home and